If you want to know how to write a product manager resume to get an interview, even if you do not have the right experience, and this is the right video for you to learn how to write a product manager resume. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee. I am a director of product. I help engineers and international professionals transition from a worker bee to a product manager and business leader. Today, let's focus on product manager resume. Lots of you guys ask me this question. What if I don't have much experience? How can I make people hire me as a product manager? The first step is to write the product manager resume, which is very different from any other type of resume to written before because the specific things product manager is looking for. I'm going to share with you the six steps to write a great product manager resume to impress the hiring manager with some specific examples. Step one, you need to remove irrelevant content on your resume that has nothing to do with product managers. Nine pages of resumes. It's even longer than my PhD essay. Reject. As a director of product, I've reviewed tons of resumes in the past. We only have 30 seconds to look for the right keywords and right experience and right content. So therefore, please only prepare one page of resume. If you have, let's say, more than 20 years experience, you can go up to two pages resume. If you have 10 years experience or less, I recommend everybody to only write one page of resume. So the most difficult part is that, what if I have lots of content I want to share? How can I condense everything into one page? Now, let me give you some specific examples. As I mentioned in my other videos, how to transition from other industries into product managers, Lots of you guys do not have the original product management experience. You might be an engineer or like designers or maybe like marketers before. Think about this. Which part of your prior experience is truly related to product launch, go to market strategy, and interviewing with customers? And only those experiences are relevant to product managers as something the hiring manager is looking for. You can comment on the video down below and tell me what type of experience you have and is there any specific experience you don't know whether they are relevant or not and feel free to comment i'm going to get back to you right away step two is the right keywords hiring managers are looking for specific product manager keywords and i have a specific list of keywords i mentioned in my other videos and today let's use the top three keywords as an example for example you should talk about specifically about MVP, voice of customers, and writing requirements. And if you have cross-functional teamwork experience, you should also put those keywords, cross-functional team experience on your resume as well. You gotta hit those keywords. Hitting keywords is the same thing as hitting the like button for this video. So the more keywords you hit, the more likely the hiring manager is going to select you for an interview. So if you like this video as well, remember to hit the like button so that I will make more videos like this. Thank you. If you are a systems engineer or different kind of business functions in the past, you have written requirement before, you need to talk about the written requirement, the same words put on your resume. Now, let me give you a specific example. One of my students, how he writes his experience. Interview customers and study market trends to understand their needs and convert them into actionable engineering facing user stories and prioritize user stories and those requirements. Things like this is something you need to think about whether you have done those voice of customers interviews, how would you turn the needs into requirement? And make sure do not just copy the same sentences because I believe that thousands of you guys will watch this video now and then in the future all the hiring managers are seeing you guys using the same keywords and same way to write experience. That's not good because as a hybrid manager, we know who is copying other people's content. So make sure you create something for yourself as well. And something I want to remind you guys is that I go live in my private Facebook group every Sunday to share my experience and answer questions for all of you guys. You can check out the Facebook group here and also have a WeChat group and feel free to join me and ask me any questions every Sunday. The third part you need to talk about on your resume is achievement. Specifically, let me define what I mean by achievement. There are three types of achievement you need to talk about on your resume. The first is stakeholder improvement and second, customer satisfaction. And third is the organizational improvement. What I mean is that stakeholder improvement, how much more money did you make for your stakeholders? How much money have you saved 
for the company. What kind of things you have done lead to those achievements? And the second about the customer satisfaction is about how many more customers, like millions of customers have used your product and their feedback or their review is five out of five, things like this. And third is about organizational improvement means you may help help your company or your client to improve the efficiency of operations or selling product. Those are all great achievements you need to put into your resume. Now let me give you another example about how would I write about those achievements. Increase adoption by 30%. Surpassing goals by three times more, accelerating revenue growth to 32%, things like this. This is so significant and we're going to help your resume to stand out. And something I want to remind you guys, make sure to use the right the achievement framework that I specifically create a product manager achievement resume section. The way I do it is I create my resume into two sections. One section is about achievement. The other section is about roles and responsibilities. And then you apply the same framework to all your work experience. And this is going to make your achievement stand out much more significantly. And this specific framework is someone developed by myself. I have used the same product manager framework and helped me to get like four product manager offers. And recently I got three director of product offers using this killer uh, resume template. If you're interested in using the same template, I create the template link down below. I call this Nancy PN template because I created this myself. Nobody in this industry uses the same template as I do and it's driven great success so far. Hopefully it's going to help you guys as well. Number four is how you write each bullet point of your resume. I like to remind you guys to put about like six bullet points per work experience. Each bullet point only talk about one thing. Do not merge voice of customers or roadmap or customer satisfactions or agile process into one bullet point because hiring managers attention span is also very, very short. They scan your resume very quickly. If you merge too much keywords into one bullet point, it's likely he or she is going to skip it and look into the next bullet point. And the second most important part about your bullet point is that it's no longer than two lines. Do not go crazy about your prior experience and only talk about the content, the product you built, and achievement. Don't go overboard. Anything longer than two lines, I'm going to skip. And also maybe feel, mm, this guy is not a, such a concise and impactful person. So it's going to put a negative mark when you get into the interview as well. Number five is talk about your objective. This is specifically to someone who wants to transition from other industries into product management with no product manager experience. As I mentioned, lots of you guys must transition from design or engineering field before. Your prior experience, for example, your engineer and Apple. When people look at your old resume, they don't know what you're looking for. And same thing as me, when I was transitioning into PM, if I only put my engineering experience, people were like, oh, let's put her into the engineering department. So you need to put a very brief description in your objective and to tell them you are looking for product manager position. In addition, make sure you put your 30 seconds elevator pitch into your objective. I made a specific videos about how to write 30 seconds elevator pitch. You should use the same framework to write your objective. In this objective, I will summarize it as you have TBD years of experience and looking for a, B, C, D type of positions and add something unique about yourself so that when people hear about this, you're gonna pull off the tears. This is how you write your objective. Number six is also something very important. Lots of people made mistake about using the right product management template and the right layout. On your specific resumes, if you are a fresh graduate, like you must have joined my uh, Facebook groups that we had a lot of engagement there. And for people like you guys, your resume should be composed of objective first then education because you just graduated show some amazing school result there and next is your professional experience that's your internship experience or any kind of project experience then at the end you talk about your leadership experience and technical skills if you are uh, young professionals who has more than like three years work experience you need to put your education towards the bottom because as a hybrid manager, I'm going to skip all the education and the random bluff on the top. I zoom into your professional experience to see what you have done, what you have achieved in your prior work experience. 
if you are somebody with 20 years experience like that, your resume need to follow the same template as young professional, but you need to make sure that you highlight more on your impact, your leadership. Same thing as when I apply for director uh, product management positions, I put more on the impact I've made and also experience on me leading and managing and recruiting product managers. If you like the tips I have shared with you about the product manager resumes and templates, make sure you, you hit the like button and comment down below. I made multiple videos about how to ace the product management interviews and also how can you launch a product from concept to execution. Those are must ask product manager interview questions and in my prior videos, I already talked about all of those. Make sure you watch all of those videos. I'm gonna see you next time. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. Bye.